Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Heyduk, and this is tip number 19, using web templates with page templates. In tip number 17, I compared the two types of page templates, web template or rewrite. In this tip, I'll dive a bit more into the web template option. Page templates define how the content of a web page record is rendered for the user. When you use the web template type, you are able to get full control over what the server returns when a user requests the page. One option that is specific to the web template type of page template is the Use Website Header and Footer checkbox. When checked, the header and footer, each defined in their own web templates, are automatically placed above and below the content specified in this web template. However, it's important to note that this will also cause other markup to be included, such as HTML and body tags, as well as the base JavaScript and CSS libraries for the portal product. If you uncheck this box, only what appears in the associated web template will be included in the server response. There will be no automatic JavaScript or CSS included, or HTML or body tags. While at first that might seem like a limitation, it's actually a very powerful feature. This allows us to create pages on our site that don't necessarily return HTML. A great example would be to create a page that uses the fetch XML liquid tag to output JSON. Using this technique, you can create web services that can be consumed by JavaScript in your portal or even external resources. When doing this, use the MIME type field on the web template record to ensure that your response has the right content type. In a more traditional implementation of using web templates with page templates, you leverage the website header and footers and use the web template to define a custom layout. The out of the box homepage in the partner portal is a great example of this. Our best practice is to ensure that the ADX underscore copy attribute is somewhere on the page, even if you don't specifically need it, as this is where the quote unquote content of the page is stored and content authors have an expectation that if they put something in there, that it will show up somewhere. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 19 from Engineered Code on using web templates with page templates useful.